How's it going, everyone? This is Shadow Trainer 1030, and today we have something unusual. And I say that because my original plan for today was to only upload a Pokemon Go content, but Ludia surprised us with releasing the patch notes for update 1.13, which is coming to Dress World Live very soon. So, what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you know about these notes, give my thoughts on it, and etc. But first, before I get into it, I do want to mention that I recently started a brand new giveaway if you're new to build it. If my channel reaches 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to run pick one winner to not only receive a fresh new Nintendo Switch, but also copy of your choice, Pokemon Sword or Shield. More details will be at the end of the video. Be sure to check it out, how much channel reach goal by sharing it with your friends and family, social media, or whatever you share at, they appreciate it. Alright, so now getting back to today's video, I'll start off with the update itself. If you take a look at the screen next to me, I'm on Forum Ludia's website. Everything I read out here will be in the description below. I'm not going to read everything, only important ones. So basically it talks about there's going to be new changes coming to the new update. Got changes to the tournaments, there's going to be introduction to the Alliance Championships, Alliance Roles, new active abilities, new passive abilities, new creatures, ability updates, creature updates, miscellanies, bug fixes, and known issues. So the changes to the tournaments is they're making it to where you they listen to the player feedback and what I'm understanding here correctly is you have to put in your battles in the arenas before you can enter the tournament. And it's going to be a free entry and you can be able to still earn some rewards. The alliance ones is what I'm understanding here is it works with your own alliance. It's going to be a separate tournament and it's going to start on April 6th uh, but basically what I understand here is you put in points, and whatever amount of points you get, you earn towards gain a reward. Uh, Alliance roles uh, basically just talks about the, the co-leader, veteran, leader, all that kind of stuff, so nothing too exciting there. New active ability is going to be distracting shield. It's going to be able to have a cooldown. It's reduced opponent's uh, damage by 50% for two turns. 50% uh, shield for two turns and attack that times one. You got the superiority impact, it has clants, reduced opponent speed, and it half the damage and also cooldown. So it sounds like this was a little bit better than the uh, the normal superiority strike that we use, are used to. So the new passive battles, uh, you got the immune vulnerability. So they make it, a, it cannot affect the ones that are with, that are vulnerable. So that hurts some of them. Now I'm getting to new creatures. This is what I'm really mostly looking forward to want to talk about. So the new one we got is Ar Ar Archean Ethereum. So this is a common. It's fierce, self-increasing, definite. It's an anti-tank. And it says here it has the, uh, with Mutual Fury, it can be able to reach up to the Velociraptor. It has definite rampage to strike from it. And it's also good in uh, common tournaments. So this one's something to look forward to. Next up is Ecladoceras. Hopefully I'm pronouncing these right if I'm not. Anyways, it's an epic. It is resistant, fast, it's a tank, it shields. So this one's more of like a speed control thing. And okay, so we're getting another deer. So Megalosser is not the only one. So next one we got is Melenia. This one's a, a resistant armor tank, vulnerability, self uh, healing, so it has a 50% armor. That's going to be simply with the uh, the, tur the Carbonese. And yeah, we're getting another turtle. So Carbonese is not the only one. Now getting the hybrids. This is what I'm looking forward to. So new one we got is called Sarah to Portis. Okay, hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. This one it requires a Woolly Rhinoceros and a Archithurium. This is a brand new one we're getting. So mixing these two is a legendary, it's resistant, it's furious, anti-tank, and it's a tank itself. So with uh, Deserity Strike, Mutual Fury, Definite Rampage, and Lethal Wound. So this one could actually be kind of nice, I guess. So next up, um, look at that picture there. Um, I don't know what to say. I'm, I have to see what it looks like when, we, when I unlock it. Next one is... Mammalania. This is a super unique hybrid. It's resistant, self-increasing, it's an anti-tank, it's a tank itself. So this one combines the uh, Mammotherium with the uh, Melania. 
So that means that Millennia, the new one that we are getting, has to be at level 20. So that is going to be pretty hard to do. But it depends on how easy it is to find in the wild. So it looks like this one, it knows Persistent Fury uh, Strike, Dig In, Bellow, Indefinite Rampage. So uh, if you already got the Man of Ethereum, guys, to level 20, then good for you. Like for me, I got mine to level 20. I still got a long way to go before I do more fusions. Next up is Testa Corbus. It's a unique, it, it's a super hybrid, resistant, fast tank, superiority, vulnerability, distraction, and shields. So, Carbotoceratops is getting the hybrid. Oh, okay. I am pat myself in the shoulder for getting this thing to level 20. Good for me. I've been saving up some DNA. So, anyways, this one combines with the antler. And Ekla Deuteris, so that's the new one we're getting. So that one's, again, it's going to be hard. To, don't know what the spawns are going to be like when it gets released. So this one, it has it's immune to damage over time, it's immune to deceleration, and it features a powerful swap and heal. So it's able has a long-lasting, quite defensive ability to distract and shield, vulnerability, superiority, vulnerability, superiority impact. All right. Um... Looks like the deer just got a lot more horns. Okay. Okay, that's all of the creatures there. So, ability updates. Uh, cautious Strike, no longer cleanse, damage over time. They talk about that. Uh, Superiority vulnerability, it works on the next turn. So, creature updates. So, immune to vulnerability. So, the following here are immune to vulnerability. So, I guess that could be nice for a couple of players. So, I'm looking at the... Uh, Carbonto Serenus, Carbonibis, you pretty much cannot do a lot more damage than usual. So that's going to pretty much be hard for you to take down these tanks here. So the Miscellaneous, they talk about that there's going to be alliance improvements and the bug fixes. They just talk about some fixes here. That's pretty much all I'm going to cover for today's video. The purpose video is to let you all know that we are getting a new update pretty soon. I told you what it is. I gave my thoughts on it, and etc. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on everything covered here. Are you looking forward to a new update? What are you hoping to be like I said? Let me know. That'd be appreciate it. Hope you all did enjoy today's video. Look watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give you a thumbs up. Check my channel, subscribe bell for more gameplay videos. And I will see you all in the next video.